He say, they be fucking the female guards. Look, can we just talk about a problem that without bringing up women and blaming women in regards to it? I know that this happens, uh, that, that you might have a relationship with a female guard, but you also have homosexuality in these prisons, okay? You have to list every possibility or none at all. You can't just say, oh, um, instead of this going on, this is what's going on. When you constantly have shit like this being put out. 8% of the inmate population is dirt poor. So there's no such thing as pleasure in prison. Sure, I might be able to eat me a hamburger once a week if I know the right people. But that's nothing. That's nothing compared to sleeping up under air conditioning. That's nothing compared to watching the NBA finals be using that shit to or widescreen TV. This is a world within a world. You got you got everything under the sun here. You got homosexuality, run rapid, you got homosexuality, run rapid, you got homosexuality, run rapid, you got homosexuality, run rapid. This video uh earlier today talking about the grooming process that they have um to sexual abuse males in prison and it was a black female per usual supporting her husband um who was being sexually abused in prison check this out but i'm reading this letter on behalf of my husband who's being sexually abused in michigan department of corrections facilities i have made reports um i've contacted the michigan department of internal affairs i reached out to the wardens i reached out to the civil rights activists um they still have to get back to me they said they'll contact me next week but it seems like there's open investigations going on but they're not doing anything so i'm just going to read this letter that i also have on my petition from Kalik. it says my name is Kalik brewer i was incarcerated since 2014. In 2015, I was transported to quarantine at the age of 16 with a 25 year sentence. After being in quarantine in Jackson, Michigan for a day, I was sexually abused by two adult prisoners in a shower where I was supposed to be watched due to my age. I tried to talk to the officers about the abuse, but they refused to help me saying, this is prison, you're going to grow up fast. I then tried to talk to other COs, but wasn't able to get any help. After four or five days, I was then transported to Lapeer, Michigan to serve my sentence. I was then sexually abused by a correctional officer named Elmer. I was sexually abused several times by this officer. I talked to the heiress named Daniel Bills to help me with the officer who was abusing me, but I was still left to tend for myself. Whenever I would try to talk to staff, I would be called a snitch just because I didn't want to deal with the abuse anymore. As time went on, I felt as if it was normal being young and going through these problems. At Carson City, where he's now currently housed, He's experiencing verbal sexual abuse from a correction officer named Bohan. This officer would tell me to do things like go have sex with other inmates. He will also say, you're my boyfriend. This officer tried to do many things to set me up with contraband because I refused to engage sexually with him. This officer talked to inmates to get me stabbed because I was snitching on him. I have wrote the wardens, the heiress, the inspector, and still have no help. The Michigan Department of Corrections has failed me. I deal with post-traumatic stress disorder to all the neglect by those who were supposed to protect me. I still don't feel safe and I'm asking for help from anyone. It's time we change our prison system. And this is from Khalid. It's time we change our prison system and the corrupt correctional officers. If you know someone or have a loved one dealing with similar issues with Michigan Department of Corrections, please speak on it. Now you never know what your loved one is experiencing behind these closed walls. My question to you, um, Ms. Dana Nessel and Governor Whitmer and Heidi Washington. Heidi Washington, you are the director over Michigan Department of Corrections. Why aren't you doing anything? I know back in 2015, you stated that you guys opened up a wing in Lapeer, Michigan and, for, and Thumbs Correctional Facility so that youthful inmates don't have to be around adult inmates so they don't have to experience this abuse. And it still happened. He actually was in that facility when you guys made this plan of action and nothing is... It's still the same thing. I don't get it. Even when he was transported to Thumb Correctional Facility, he was being sexually abused by corrections officers multiple times. 
when he reported nothing was done you guys have the prea which is supposed to be where they do audits and investigate on these type of things but you guys can't do investigations when people are scared for their life to tell and speak up for themselves so like i said my question to you guys are what is your call of action what are you guys really doing to make sure that our prisoners and our inmates are safe because they're still humans and they still have rights can you answer that for me I've been reaching out to y'all, like I said, through email. I've been calling. Today at Carson City Corrections, they transferred me. They never answered the phone again. I have multiple people that have family members in Carson City Corrections. No answer. Why are you guys withholding information when you guys know you are...